Assalamu alaikum everybody, Sayyid Ahmed back again with another YouTube video. So today's YouTube video guys, I will be talking about my small account challenge that I tried to create. And so for those of you guys that do not know, I think a week or two ago I posted a video and I was like, oh, I'm going to start the small account challenge with 500 bucks and I'm going to try to compound this over the long run into some crazy amount of money. That was the goal. And so I'm going to tell you guys why exactly I didn't do that. And yeah, we're going to talk about that. So no, I did not blow my account as the thumbnail or title of this video most likely suggests. I haven't made it yet, but most likely it's going to be some clickbaity title. But the reason why I stopped trading that way, guys, is because of the fact that, put simply, I was spreading myself out too thin. Day trading is a very taxing industry. It's a very taxing venture, right? It requires a lot of brain power. It requires a lot of willpower and dedication and consistency and discipline, right? All of those things are required and combined together to make you a successful day trader, okay? And quite frankly, you could have all those things and still be a failure of a day trader, right? So knowing that, you know, now day trading is a little bit more easy for me now, mashallah, right? Because I've been day trading for years. I'm a profitable day trader. I know what to do. I know when to do it. I know what to avoid, right? However, even with all that in like even with all that being true adding another strategy adding another setup adding another like asset class to trade just doubles the amount <clears throat> doubles the amount of stress doubles the amount of mind power needed willpower dedication i had all of those things right it takes up a lot of mental capacity which is wild to think about because i'm only trading 30 minutes out of the day with that small account challenge that was the goal to only trade like 30 40 minutes anyways but it's the truth. It still takes a lot of mind power. It still takes a lot of willpower. And it's a lot of stress, right? Because quite frankly, guys, even if it's 500 hours, you know, I'm not looking at the money. I'm looking at the risk percentage. I'm looking at the arm multiple. So, you know, losing streaks, winning streaks, that still affects your mentality. And it didn't happen to me yet because quite frankly, not every single day, but like I was running for 80% of the days that I traded, I was winning <laughs> from that strategy. Granted, I only traded three weeks, so maybe it was just in a massive winning streak. The strategy was doing really good for that time. But, you know, it's still, I knew for a fact that when losing streaks were to happen, when I was going to lose money, that was going to affect me. Because I know this from the fact that when I have losing streaks and when stuff is going bad for my normal day trading, it affects me as well, right? Those dark thoughts, those bad thoughts start to creep into your mind. Am I even a good day trader? Do I even know what I'm doing? Is this strategy worth it? All these things start to creep into your mind and start to like poison your mind essentially against your ability to day trade, right? And so I knew that chances are this is going to happen to me as well with a small account. And if that happens to me, guys, right, <clears throat> I'm going to start getting affected twice by these negative thoughts between my small account and my normal account. And even if I'm not getting affected at them at the same time, eventually I'm going to, right? But eventually I'm going to get affected by them consecutively, right? Because I'll be doing good in my normal day trading, but with a small account challenge, well, I am risking a little bit more because I want to compound it more, right? I start to get the negative thoughts. That's going to affect my normal account and vice versa. So pretty much I'll always be in the downside, right? When it comes to my mentality, when it comes to trading. I don't know if I'm explaining that properly. But it is a thing that I thought about. I was like, oh my God, at one point or another, you know, even if I'm doing really good on my normal account, if I'm doing bad on the small account, that's going to affect my normal account trading. Because guys, not everything is surface level, right? especially when it comes to day trading. Again, day trading reveals a lot about yourself, right? It revealed to me that I'm a very egotistical person. I love my ego and I hate being wrong. I'm a very greedy person. It revealed things to me that I didn't know about myself, right? And so all of those things though, right? They're in your subconscious. You don't know about them. They're not in the front of your brain, right? You don't know about them. They're in the back where you don't really think that much, right? It's your subconscious. It's underneath your conscious being, right? Your conscious mind. Same thing, right? So even when you don't think you're being affected by day trading, you are. It's very difficult to look at yourself objectively. Guys, the next time you go through a losing streak in day trading, ask the people around you how you were acting for the last week. And they'll tell you you were more depressed. They'll tell you you were more gloomy. They'll tell you they, that you were snapping on them for no reason whatsoever. 
right? They'll tell you all of these things, guys. It's true because day trading affects you. And you might think you look fine. You might think you're acting normally, but it's not the truth. So knowing the things that I know about day trading, knowing the things I know about myself, I was like, why am I doing this? Why am I spreading myself out so thin? Because quite frankly, guys, it makes no sense, right? The whole point of that was to trade a small account and make it into a large amount of money over the long run. But I was like, why am I doing this? If I want a large amount of money, I can just find a large amount of money, aka problems. Now, obviously, the way I was trading, I can't find problems for that specifically, right? But I could trade that strategy with another asset class and find problems for it, you know? So I was like, there's really no reason for me to do this, honestly. I was just thinking about it and I was like, I'm going to put myself through all this stress. And quite frankly, when you look at the return, the risk to reward, it's not worth it. If it's going to affect my normal trading, if it's going to affect my health and my life, it's not worth it, <laughs> you know? So I was like, why am I going to do this? It makes no sense. So that's one of the reasons, although those are the reasons as to why I stopped that small account challenge. Not because I blew the account, guys. Your boy has not blown the account. Quite frankly, guys, whatever money I made, it was like 30 bucks. <laughs> okay, I made like 30 bucks. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, You know, I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm just going to withdraw the money from my account balance. And that's that. I'm not going to do a single thing more. So I'm probably not going to start a small account challenge, guys, or continue this challenge. I'm just here to update you guys because I told you I'd update you weekly. I didn't make that video last week because I was contemplating whether or not I should continue it. But again, just telling you guys that your boy is not going to do this forever. When it comes to, oh, I'm not going to do like a small account. My number one priority is, of course, the main account. My number one priority is the regular trading strategy that I use. I want to compound that. Um, I want to get as many firms, prop firms as I can. I want to get seven figures, guys. Seven figures and funded money by 22. I am one month old and 10 days. I'm 21 years old, one month and 10 days old. 21, one month and 10 days old. Right. So by 22, I want seven figures in funded accounts, inshallah. So you'll see me by 22 with a million dollars funded, minimum. I can guarantee you that inshallah. And how am I gonna do it? The same exact way that you see me trading, the same exact style, the same exact everything that you see me doing right now. Turning this $500 account into $10,000 guys is gonna take like over a year. Is that really worth it? No. And technically maybe because I can turn that 10,000 into some crazy amount of money too, right? But why put myself through that stress? when I can just go get find a million dollars and fund it, provided I just do the same thing over and over again that I'm already currently doing, right? So maybe in the future, guys, when I already have a lot of money, like reaching my personal account and my funded accounts, maybe then I'll do a small account challenge just for the fun of it, because then I can actually like risk more. Like I can list like 20% of my account per trade. And if I lose it, it doesn't matter to me because I'm used to the larger numbers. I'm used to risking so much more and making so much more as well, right? But as of yet, guys, it's just not worth it to me. So. That's it. That's the update for this, guys. I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, I have fulfilled all of the minimum required day trading day trading required for the True Forex Funds 25K Challenge, mashallah say. So I should be getting the funded account soon. I will update you guys with that whenever I do get it. Hopefully, I get it within the next couple of hours because I will be trading tomorrow. So I'd like to trade it. I'd like to trade the account tomorrow as well. You know, so we'll see what ends up happening. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, Discord, socials, brokers, I recommend all of that guys found down below. With that being said, guys, Allah Hafiz, peace out. Assalamu alaikum.